Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I want to tell you about a brand new graphics card that we've developed for Apple Mac Pro users. The Sapphire HD 7950 Mac Edition brings to Mac users all the power of AMD's new Graphics Core Next architecture and a lot of the special features of the card will help you whether you're playing games, rendering, doing video editing or audio editing. We've provided a choice of display outputs on this card, so if you've got a latest type DisplayPort monitor or Thunderbolt monitor, we've got two DisplayPort outputs here. We've also got a full speed HDMI output supporting up to 4K resolutions and stereoscopic 3D. And for the more traditional users, we've got a DVI-I port here, which can be used either with a DVI monitor or with the older style VGA monitor with a dongle supplied. So what I'd like to do, even if you've never fitted a graphics card before, I'd like to show you how easy it is to do that. And we've got a Mac Pro right here. Okay, so we've taken our Mac Pro, we've disconnected all the peripherals, keyboards, mouse, power cable, and we're ready to go. So the first thing to do is remove the side cover. There's a lever at the back which just unlocks and we can take the whole side panel off and out of the way. We can see that this machine's already had a graphics card installed in the cavity here, so we're going to remove that one and fit the sapphire in as a replacement. So the first thing to do is to undo these little knurled screws here, which actually lock the back bracket in place. Once those are out of the way, we can just lift the card out of its slot. It clips in, so we need to give it a little tug and out it pops. And we can disconnect the power cable here. Put that to one side. The Sapphire card uh, requires two power connectors which are actually provided in the box. We have one already installed from the previous card so in this case we just need to put one extra cable in which fits into a socket right up in the top corner here. So once we've got the power cables installed uh, the next thing is to put the graphics card into its slot. So we just guide the output sockets to the slots in the back of the machine into the slot. So then all we have to do is to connect the two six pin power connectors. It doesn't matter which one is which. Just pop those in and then we can refit the bracket to hold the card into place and we'll be ready to fit the side back on. we go. So as you can see the whole installation process only takes a matter of minutes and then we're ready to connect back the peripherals, power and everything else. In fact with this card you can connect two displays at the same time and if you've never worked with a multi-monitor setup now's a good time to try. My name's Bill Donnelly, thank you for watching.